Good morning. Today I want to talk about tattoos, and the intersection between generations, as well as their safety and the probability of people having them, not having them, how they perceive in society. Today we have ages 18 to 40, who are one in four likely to have a tattoo. Anybody over the age of 40 is less likely. In fact, it's only one in nine. So what I want you to come away with today is a simple thing. I want you to think before you ate. Just remember that, to think before you ate. Now, yesterday we had an excellent presentation on tattoos concerning the health problems that can arise from Tattoos. Talk about hepatitis C and a few things that you may have left out, and I kind of want to touch on myself. Are the well, first off, the popularity. You guys all seem to want to get a tattoo. My generation doesn't look on them very lightly. Okay, we we don't accept them. I'm just speaking for myself and other people of my age bracket. I know you amongst yourselves, your age bracket, you believe. Socially acceptable, and you're good to go. Well, I want you to think about that as we get into it. Now, some of the risks were pointed out yesterday about hepatitis C, uh, the use of unsterilized, unsterilized needles, tattoo parlors, what would happen, stuff like that. Now, one thing you may not know is the pigments used to give you a tattoo. None of them are approved by the FDA. In fact, they frown on it. Some of the other health issues you may have is just remember have to have an MRI. With the tattoo and the pigments in your skin, when they go in there with the magnetic resolution, which is yeah, magnetic resolution uh, resonance. I always forget that word. Magnetic resonance imaging. When you have that done on your body in an area that you have a tattoo. The skin is likely to be heated up because of those pigments, and it can cause cell damage. That's something to think about when you get a tattoo. Also, it's pretty costly to get a tattoo removed. Right now, the best way of doing it is through laser treatment. You get a tattoo, and you decide three, four, or five years from now that Bob's no longer your boyfriend, and you want to get this thing removed, you're going to have to go through a laser treatment. You're going to damage your skin giving you a higher probability of skin cancer. Just think about that. All right, well, we cover some of the health issues. I want to look at the socially accepted of them. I myself, when I look at a tattoo, have a preconceived notion. We talked about sushi in this class, how we have this preconceived notion that sushi is bad, raw meat, I don't want to eat it. Guess what? I have the same preconceived notion about tattoos. When I look at a person with a tattoo, I'm immediately turned off. That is a personal preference, personal opinion, and I'm giving it to you. Now, George is my man. Okay? I love this statement. Think about how stupid the average person is. Now think about that half of those people are stupider than that. And I want to just take a look at a few things. First off, we have a higher probability that if you're involved with a legal action and you're before a judge, you have a higher probability of being convicted if you have a tattoo. That's a known fact. Okay. Also, let's see what happens when we try and cover these things up. Well, if you don't go through laser, you got to cover them up somehow if you want to get rid of them. My friend, the convict here, he came up with a way. This young man here actually had a tattoo added only because his brother got one. Now this young lady here didn't know what to do with it, so she just went with complete black. Now, a little more humor. People my age generation, when we look at younger generation, especially now with the uh, extra means of social welfare now, we see people standing in line and they're wiping their food card and they're on food stamps and then we look and see why why do you have tattoos? How can you afford to get a tattoo if you can hardly afford to feed yourself? That is looked down upon by my generation. And of course, if you're a convict and you just 
Oscar IPO for like five million. It's pretty much the deal. This is really one of my personal favorites. I think you guys will love it. I think it's really good. Now, let's talk about other things. Yesterday we talked about who's hiring. Who's the boss? Well, in a previous life, I was the boss. I hired people. I'm going to give you a true story here. We had um, an engineering firm that we were involved with a lot of high-profile companies that we were doing work for. I was responsible for hiring the people that had to work and perform for these companies. Okay? One day, I have three resumes on my desk. Simple entry-level cab position is what we were interviewing for. That's all I needed was somebody that could actually just draw a line in a computer. So three candidates came in. Human resources have screened out over 100 different applicants. So here they come, three interviews. First interviewee had tattoos on his hand. Okay? Completely qualified to do the job. But there was a little check mark with me. Second one had a complete neck and a full sleeve. Wore a short sleeve shirt. Shows up in front of me, wants a job. The third one didn't have any tattoos. Guess who I hired? The third one. Alright, let's let's take another instance. Let's pretend I'm a casting director. And I'm going to hire an actor or a model for a client of mine who's either going to shoot a commercial or perhaps model some jeans and shirts for a client. So let's think about these two pictures right here. This is the guy that comes in and interviews for the position. He wants to be a model. This is cool, right? <laughs> now, I'm the casting director. I know what the producer wants. Does the producer want this or does the producer want this? Who do you think is going to get the part? This one or this one? And that's the sure that's the first one. And here's, here's something that people may not understand. If you're in the movie industry or in television or in modeling, in some sort of modeling agency, if I need you to have a tattoo, I'm going to get wardrobe and makeup to paint one on you when I need you to have it. Now think about this. This young man wants to be a model. This is his career. He wants another modeling job. He wants to act in a second movie. If he permanently marks his body like this, what do you think his probabilities are of getting another job in this industry? Very slim. But if he maintains this body physique, he's got a pretty good shot of getting the next job. So, I want to make sure that you understand that tattoos are permanent. You are permanently scarring your body. So before you think about doing that, I want you to think before you ink.